What is going on, amazing, beautiful people? Your boy Jeffrey Gamer is back at you with another update LSPDFR video. Um, uh, Script Hook V has updated, ladies and gentlemen. Yes! Yes! Oh, yeah! That's right. The last of the three, uh, Rage, LSPDFR, and Script Hook V, are now all updated to be compatible with the GTA 3175 and we are going to show you how to update your game and bring it current. The very first thing that you wanna do is let's bring up our um, file explorer, okay? And you're gonna wanna find your main directory and you're gonna go to your disk drive that your Steam games are installed through. Program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, in common by the way if you haven't figured it out by now this is for steam users double click your gta file right there mine is in a different location a lot of people ask why i don't do uh epics it's because i've never owned the epics version i don't know how to update and revert and all that with the epics so i couldn't comfortably sit here and tell y'all how to do it you know because i you know i just i don't know how to do it so go check out criminal justice he always looks out for the epic uh users um, so, double-click your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder, and as you can see, we are on, this version right here is the 3095, the last version of GTA, not the current. So, here's what we want to do. You're going to want to open up your Steam. You're going to go to your library. You are going to go to Grand Theft Auto 5, right-click that, go to Properties, and right here under Installed Files, click that. Go to verify this game's files. And then right here under verify integrity, click that. It is going to verify the integrity of the game files. Folks, I am going to show you a couple of tips and tricks during this video. So make sure to watch the entire video um, so you can not miss these important tips and tricks, okay? Also, the backup files uh, the backup files in the Discord are going to be removed. Instead, we are going to be posting this update video uh, in, in its place because there's no need for the backup files now. We can now run on the 3175. So with that being said, we're going to let this uh, verify the integrity of the files, and we'll be right back. Alrighty, folks, as you can see, it uh, everything has updated. The files are validated, so you can exit out of that and exit out while we'll minimize steam. And now if I come up here and hit this refresh button and I scroll down, we should be on the 3179 version. There it is right there, 3179. So now just to show y'all that this is gonna work, if I go to fire rage, if I go to fire up rage, it is not gonna launch. It's gonna tell me that I'm getting this uh, error right here. So what do we gotta do? We have to install lspdfr rage and script took v so let's do that uh let's exit out of that and let's go ahead and let's bring up uh script took v over here there we go and here we are all right so over on the if you click that these links will be down below uh, just go ahead and click the links, uh, the LSPDFR link down below. It will bring you to this page right here. And we're going to click download this file and agree and download. And we want the manual. You don't want the setup exe. We want the manual install. So go ahead and click download on that. While that's downloading, click the next link down below that says script hook V. Uh, it will bring you to this page right here. As you can see, 3179, click download there, and that will download. Sometimes it may tell you, like right there, insecure download. You can go ahead and click keep on that. I promise you, it's okay. All right, so once that's done, we can minimize that. And now we're just waiting. There's the LSPDFR one. Okay. So now we have, we got our main directory still open right here, folks. Our main directory is still open right there. Um, now, what we want to do is we want to install these. Let's start with the script hook V. Okay, right there. 
So we got our script hook V WinRAR. We've got our main directory. You should see your mods folder, plugins folder, LSPDFR folder, everything right there. You're gonna double click this bin in the WinRAR, double click bin. And you only want two files from in here. You want din put eight and script hook V.dll. You wanna left click, drag that right here to this little buffer zone. Don't drag it over here. You don't want nothing highlighting. Drag it over here, drop it in. It's gonna ask you if you wanna replace, go ahead and replace. And that is done. Do not do not worry about native trainer. Go with simple trainer. Um, okay, so here is a huge, huge tip, ladies and gentlemen. Um, LSPDFR didn't update any of their INI's gameplay options, menus, nothing like that. Meaning, you do not need the INI in that the INI and the keys INI that are with this new update. In other words, if you were to take everything right here, drag it over and drop it, you are going to lose everything that you already have in your keys INI and your LSPDFR INI. There's two ways you can do this. A, you could either drag these two up to your desktop, like so, and then you can install everything, right? And then drop these back in, or you could just do what I'm gonna show you. Now, if you're like me, if I double click my keys I and I, and you're like me, all this right here is set up exactly how I want it. All of these key binds for LSPDFR. Same thing with my LSPDFR I and I. All this is set up to how I want it. I do not want to overwrite that. And like I said, this is only updated to be compatible with the 3179. Nothing in the LSPDFR game itself has changed. So. Here's what you want to do. If you're installing LSPDFR for the first time, you don't have to worry about this. We're going to click back, go back to our main directory. Again, mods folder, plugins folder, LSPDFR, right? Over here in the LSPDFR WinRAR, you're going to double click this LSPDFR folder. And you are going to hold your control key and you're going to select the LSPDFR INI and the keys INI. Just those two. You're going to right click and uh, delete files. Click yes, it's okay, folks. All right, they're deleted. Now we can click back right here. Now we can highlight everything. Hold your control key and deselect the RPH README and make sure that licenses. You don't need that licenses folder. All right, we're gonna all these files from LSPDFR down to uh, Excel input. You're gonna left click, drag those right here, and drop them in. And boom. It's going to take a few seconds. Let it do its thing. And yes, we want to replace. And it's going to replace everything. So now we updated our GTA to the 3179. We have updated our script took V to 3179. Uh, and now we have also updated our Rage 3179. So now, next tip. We can get rid of this. So because we removed those two files out of here, these, my files, my keys, and my LSPDFR INIs were not overwritten. So all of my key binds are gonna be the same. My LSPDFR is updated, my key binds are the same. It's amazing, I know. So I'm gonna go back right here. So now here's the next tip that you're gonna wanna do. You might try to launch your game. If you have a shortcut for Rage down here, you're gonna wanna unpin it, right? And you're going to want to go to the new one, right click and send to desktop to create a new shortcut. You're going to want to send this shortcut because it's the updated one to your desktop. Okay. If you try to launch it with this one, it's not going to work. All right. So now what I like to do is I like to click this LSPDFR folder and I like to go to it right here to LSPDFR configurator. And it's just gonna go next, and then you're gonna click show license. It'll bring up Rage, it'll show that license. It'll give you a few seconds to read it. There you go, three, two, one. Wow, yep, read all that, accept. And then you're gonna click Shh, do it for me, right there. Then, boom, LSPDFR has been installed successfully. Okay, so now, if I fire up my Rage, my game should, fingers crossed, fire right up it is going to take me into the settings okay it is going to do this first time initialization 
All right, we want to set that to 60. I always set it to 60,000. Go into your plugins and make sure those are all still on. If they are, save and launch, and then click OK. And folks, after we do the in after I go into the game and show you that it works, um, oh, wait one second. Let's see here. Okay, folks, so still getting this error, and I've tried everything that it said to try. I revalidated, um, and uh, I, I tried, uh, you know, starting it, you know, clicking this, and then opening Steam, and then clicking Play on GTA, and all it does is just tell me that Rockstar Launcher is already running, so it really does, uh, it really does nothing there. So, here's a way that I know will fix it. Make sure you don't run Rage just yet, okay? What we are going to do is we are going to go into Steam, and we're going to click Play, and it is going to launch GTA. It might launch it with Rage because Rage is still running. So let's see if it launches it with Rage. So what did we do when it said Steam failed to initialize? We clicked OK and then ran Grand Theft Auto through Steam. So let's see. It might be a first time thing. It might just have to do this the first time. And I'm going to double check it. We're going to check it at the end, OK? Because there is uh there 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 is uh one other thing that i wanted to show y'all but for right now yes so as you can see at the bottom right it is loading up with rage so it's going to load all the way in and i'm going to force duty so that you can see that it works on the 3179 so you kind of got a tutorial and then right here for some reason it asks me to do this now so we're going to load in using rage um and i forgot the get rid of the custom loading screen i hate that custom loading screen right there um so it was kind of a tutorial uh, a troubleshooting tutorial and update video in one so if you're getting that fail to initialize click ok and then start gta through steam okay start it through steam um and it'll you just seen it loaded right up now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna force duty. I'm gonna show you that LSPDFR is now gonna work on the 3179. And then what I wanna do is I'm gonna exit back out to my desktop. I'm gonna show you one more tip, and then I'm gonna try to launch it again to see if it was just a one-time thing. Sometimes these fail to initialize messages pop up for the first time after updating your Grand Theft Auto and that. So we're gonna see if uh, launching it right now um, worked. So. Uh, let's wait for everything to load up right here. And as always, if you made it this far, type in 420, I guess, for the online update that ruined us all. Go ahead and type in 420 and throw the middle finger emoji if you want to. <laughs> if you made it this far, I love to see, I love to add these little parts into my videos to see who watches the video all the way through. Um, and sorry for that little mishap, for that little hiccup, the failed to initialize hiccup. Uh, I think that might be the first time that this has happened to me with an update. Um, but uh, there we go. It's loading LSPDFR. It does load a little longer that first time too, uh, but usually it gets pretty quicker. And I hate that custom loading screen where it shows all the mods. I, I can't stand that. Usually I uh, disable it in the uh, Rage um, menu, which I will be doing that later for sure um so we're gonna let it load in again no cuts y'all the only cut i did was between the fail to initialize because i had to look for a solution right but once i clicked it and got it working there were no cuts you've seen we loaded right into the game we're gonna hit f4 we're gonna force duty and you're gonna see my lovely bald-headed lady pop up there she is with all her bearded glory and her high heels and again, this is an older GTA file, so you're gonna see some outdated mods. All right, there we go. Loaded right in. There's that uh, There's that explosion that always happens when you hear a bowling broke. Oh, yep, that's the beautiful cops that know how to drive. 
So you see, it works. We loaded in. We went on duty. We do have some outdated uh, call outs and all that because, again, this is an older version. Uh, an older file, not older version, an older file. We are in the current 3179 version. So we're going to pause. We're going to go to game and we're going to quit the game. And the first thing that I want to do, folks, this is muy importanto. Here we are in our main directory front page. Okay, here we are in our main directory front page. On your desktop, you're going to click new, go to folder, and you're going to name it GTA 5 3179. Folks, do this step. Please, please, please do this step. I don't need that anymore. Okay? And what you're going to do is you are only going to throw in four files in there. You're going to grab your GTA EXE, your language select GTA, your GTA launcher, and then scroll down to uh, play GTA EXE, deselect rage. You want those four files. You're going to drag them in there. You're going to drop them in. What does that do? That makes it so that the next time GTA updates, you can revert. You will have these backup files to revert. Please, please, please do that part. All right, so we're going to exit out of here. And once again, we're going to see if that failed to initialize. Steam failed to initialize. Uh, warning comes up again. So we're going to go ahead and fire up uh, Rage. And let's see if it does it or if it goes into the game now. Let's check it out. And, yep, so it popped up again. So, folks, if you're getting this, here's the fix. Click OK. Go into your Steam. Fire up Grand Theft Auto. I have mine as administrator, so it should pop up asking me if I want to launch it. It didn't. That's okay. But that that's how you fix it. That's how you get around that. Click OK, and then just launch it through Steam, and it'll launch it. There you go. It'll launch it through Rage, and you are good to go. Not sure why it's doing that. Maybe it'll fix itself over the next couple weeks. We'll see. But, folks, that is it for this video. I hope it helps you. It should. And uh, if you're new here and you feel I'm deserving, please consider supporting the channel by hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell so you know new content's added. Also, consider giving this video a thumbs up. The more thumbs up this video gets, the more people it can reach and teach as it hopefully did with you. Until next time, everybody, be safe, be healthy, be positive. Follow the rules and obey the law. Your boy, Jeffrey Gamer, is out. We'll see you on the next one. Later, y'all.